Joel and Dylan, good to see you guys. <laughs> Thanks too. Uh, it's great to be here in your home church in Sydney, Australia. It's uh, it, it's amazing. You know, you, you, you hear Hill Song, and it, it's uh, you guys are touring. You know, a lot of times around the world and doing different things. And there's different churches in different parts, but uh, it's amazing. It all comes kind of back to the local church here in Sydney. Yeah, that's what it's all about. And so it's great to see, you know, just kind of where it all started here. And we're actually sitting in the chapel uh, here at the church, which is a fantastic space. And uh, so, man, what a great venue to listen to, to songs. And so today we're actually listening to uh, The Stand, which um, this song is, is making a, a really huge impact just across the world in the church. And um, talk a little bit about, uh, I believe you wrote this one by yourself, but talk a little bit about where it came from and what was on your mind when this was written. Yeah, uh, this song is... Um it's a funny one because, uh, you know, there's certain songs that, that just take forever. and There's other songs that come in an instant. And uh, I was writing this song about the same time I was writing From the Inside Out, which was the hardest song I've ever had to write. And, um, and then this song, it, it, it kind of just came out of nowhere. And, and um, interestingly enough, we were on a, like a, a summer camp. We had our, all our youth away. And um, it was a, a prayer. There was a prayer meeting kind of taking place. And, um, and I was just kind of... Uh, you know, in and amongst everybody, kind of actually just watching everybody, uh, all our young people kind of just, uh, you know, crying out to God and, and just um, just praying for God to show up and to, to be who He is. And and, uh, and I remember we kind of just went to this spontaneous worship thing. There was one of the, our guys was just playing keys and I just started singing uh, the the tag, the bridge, um, you know, I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned in awe of the one who gave it all. Um, I sung that that all the way through, word for word. It just came, um, just in a, in a worship time. And, and I remember singing, I've seen it over and over and over again. And uh, and I was like, hang on. And, and the, you know, the prayer meeting kind of started moving into something else. And I, I I just ran and I was trying to find anywhere to record it. And I and I recorded it into like a, a phone, a dictaphone. Then went back into the meeting, completely forgot about it. Lost the phone. Um, oh, wow. Lost the song completely. <laughs> And then it was probably about seven or eight months later, and I was leading worship uh, with our young adults here, um, our college uh, ministry, and and um, it was kind of free worship again, and it was just, just it was, everyone was just kind of quiet and still, and um, and it just came back to me exactly as it was, and I sung it there, um, and I honestly hadn't given the thought, the song, any thought uh, in, in seven or eight months, and it just came out. I'll stand. Arms high and heart abandoned, and all the one who gave it all, I'll stand my soul, Lord, to you surrendered. All I am is yours, and um, and everybody started singing it, and uh, and that there it was. And then a couple of weeks later, um, uh, the verses just kind of popped. I knew there needed to be more to the song, but I wasn't sure how that was going to fit. It's such a in and of itself, it's such a kind of mm -hmm. complete thing. Um, but these verses and and um, this little kind of chorus. Uh, bit kind of seemed to, to fit and, and really it's 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 a song of response in worship to who God is and what he's done and uh, the verses you know it's you know it says you know I'll stand the song is is, is saying I'll stand with arms high and heart of, you know this uh, this picture of us kind of standing with our arms raised yeah. and, and worshiping God but really it's actually a metaphor for for our heart you know that that um it's a it's a song of surrender mm. and and I kind of like that, you know, kind of um, paradox of thought, you know, there, because because really, what you're singing and what you're saying, you should end up on on your face, and uh, and, but it, it really is, it's a posture of saying, you know what, um, I'm going to stand, I'm going to surrender to you, God, all that I am, because, you know, you stood for me, you created it all, you stood for me on the cross, you made a stand on the cross for all um, mankind. And so my response, you know, what can I say? What can I do? Well, I'm just going to stand. I'm going to stand up for who you are. I'm going to stand out and be counted when it comes to living my life for you. Uh, and that is, is an act of surrender in the same way that he surrendered all for us. Wow. Mm -hmm. 